Hi guys! So I thought I'd put down my top 10 places for you, so keep watching. Dharamshala pretty much revolves around this Buddhist temple complex. This is one of the most prominent places here. Everyone who comes to Dharamshala has to visit this. It also houses the residence of the 14th Dalai Lama. So it is a very important place. So that is His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. So you also have a beautiful view from here. And then you have the prayer wheels which are again part of every monastery. Hi. Hi, I'm Sherry. Hi. Hi. So what are we going to make today? Today we are going to make a Tibetan or noodle called Tentuk. Okay. So for making a noodle, first we have to make the drop. So what are uh, vegetables are we putting in this? We've got cabbage, we've got uh, radish. Uh, carrot. Now we have to put, make soup. So lots of water. Okay. Now make Just it like roll? This. Yeah, make it like chew. Then we have to make it like this. Flatten it. Okay. Right. Now we have to pull it here. Okay. Oh, it just break it and throw it in. Oh. I'm just going to be faster than you for once. <laughs> wow, that smells good. There you go. How is it? Yeah, it's good. Is it the best Tentuk you've ever had? <laughs> yeah. Hi, hi. How are you? Good. So what are we going to be making today? Uh, this is the very simple Ganesha. Okay. I'll show you one step, mm -hmm. then you can follow it, okay? Okay. So you just okay. hit and move, hit yeah. and move, hit and move. He made it look so easy. Um, it's a lot of work and I'm rather slow. No, no, no. You are going very wrong. Uh, First, First I have to make the line. Cut, yeah. uh, tuck, 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 and tuck, then tuck, do tuck. it. Then after you remove other you will I spoil the, the trunk. Oh, I thought yeah, I was going to take a bigger, uh, a shortcut. He just does everything really easily and gives you the confidence to kind of try it. Um, but when you actually try it, you realize it's not that easy, but it's not that hard either. Like I am doing it. Mine is a lot messier. So this is how far we've gotten right now. We still have a long way to go, but thank you so much. This was amazing. So we're at the lovely Korean restaurant, Seven Hills of the TV, and this is the lovely owner. What do we have here? This looks very unique and very different. This is egg kimbap. Kimbap. This is a jeukbokgu with mm -hmm. chicken. This is a Korean glass noodle. Mm -hmm. And this is like a set meal, isn't it? Yeah, that is so set. this is a pork dish. Yeah. Everything looks really good. Should we taste? Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. And then let's try some of the glass noodles. So you said this is made with potato, the noodles? Yeah, the sweet potato noodles. Sweet potato noodles, oh. Mm. That is so good. Everything tastes really fresh, which is what I like. Should we try some of the curry and the rice? Mmm! This is so good! So we're done with our dinner and this was one of the nicest meals I've had here. The pork gravy was absolutely amazing. It's not on the menu so make sure you come here and ask for it. But make sure you come. So it's time for some shopping. We're at the McCloyd Gunge Market which is a long street. There are lots of shops. We have shops selling shawls here, lots of jewellery, uh, lots of beautiful bright mufflers. You see bright mufflers. So these are really, really pretty. They look really warm and cosy. It's rather cold right now. 
What do you think? And look at these, oh my god. I need these right now. So they have little prayer wheel necklaces or the mantras which are really pretty as well. Can I see one of these please? in the black thread? That's perfect. What is the best price for best this? Price. <laughs> too much is too much. No, 150 is good. No, this is a hand -based. <laughs> I did do some shopping. So this building houses really important bits of Tibetan literature, archives, history. There are manuscripts that were actually brought during the escape of 1959, which are still here and they have 120,000 manuscripts here right now. So this is how prized these are. These are all very, very important manuscripts. He's actually pulling out some to show me some right now. You can see. Mm -hmm. What does it say? It's, you know, uh, Buddha teaching. Mm -hmm. How old would this be? It, uh, yeah, it's very uh, old. 17th century. 17th century, wow. And as you know, the Indian, uh, the palm leaf manuscripts. Mm -hmm. And the same we have in Tibet. Uh, the sizes are bigger. Uh, yeah. In Tibet, we don't have like palm leaves. Mm -hmm. So we use handmade hand paper. Papers. Hi, Sherry. So what are we going to see first? First of all, we are going to see the wood carving. Okay. So we're going to see the Thangka paintings next, which is what I've been dying to see. This is Thangka paintings too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any kind of painting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of give a 3D look. Right. Up next, we have the main temple. So this is a throne that they've made for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and whenever he comes here to give any teachings, this is where he sits. When you come to Dharamshala, you cannot miss this. Whether you're an art lover or not, this is a definite, definite must do. So we're at Illiterati Cafe for lunch. So I've ordered some pumpkin soup and lots of other stuff, but we're gonna start with the soup. Mm, this is so tasty, I can't wait for the rest of the food to come. So our lunch is here. We've got quite the spread, we've got some pizza. We've got some ravioli, some mushroom, penne and chicken and then we've got some chicken with bacon. We're gonna start with the pizza. So we got a very different tuna pizza. I've never eaten a tuna pizza but this is really good. Then we have the ravioli which is definitely a special here. Now that is really good. I'll try some of the chicken. So Illiterati is a must visit whether you're a book lover or not. If you're not a book lover, come for the food, come for the view, but definitely come here. So we are outside the Kangra Fort, which was built by the Royal Rajput family of Kangra. Let's take a look. So this fort is the largest fort in the Himalayas and it is probably the oldest dated fort in India. It is still pretty intact. I know the net said that it's in a state of ruins, but there's a lot to see here. And I can only imagine what this fort has been through. It's even mentioned in Alexander's War Records. So you can actually see the Dolada range really well from here. This is a great view of the mountains. Wow. So there are multiple viewing points like this where you will get an amazing view of the range. Wow. There are more steps. And I think we finally, finally made it to the top. 
This is definitely a must do when you come to Dharamshala. It is totally worth it. Now, this is one of the nicest spots in Asia to do paragliding for various reasons. The height, the climate, and just look at the view. So, it's time to get ready. We're going to take off from here, which is the highest point. So, this is our pilot for the day. Hi. Should we get ready? Run. Yeah. Don't back it, don't back it down. Right. Run, run, run. And off. Ready? Okay. 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 was amazing. They don't lie when they say this is like the nicest spot to paraglide. You have to, have to, have to do this. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys.